you're going to have to do first is get your stankin out, take out this box and then immediately switch to your pistol, aim at these two guys and then perfectly time, you're going to take them out with your partner and shoot at the same time, shooting them both in the head and quickly go around the corner and then using your stun gun again to take out that camera. When you're going through this door and your teammate through the other door as you can see on the minimap and then shoot the two people in that room and then go alongside and then shoot the two people over here and if you are quick enough you can then take out that camera and then shoot this guy as he's walking past if you are quick enough. If you don't do that then it's completely fine but if you do do it then it's just a little time save it's like a minute time saver or something so it's handy so one of you once again take out one guy the other one take out the other perfectly time it and then simply move on go into the security room and whoever it is just go in there with your stun gun take out the camera whenever you can whenever you want and then when he's whenever he's walking down that area just simply go back walk don't run and then as soon as he goes through the door you'll see what i mean now as soon as you go through the door, just shoot him over the head and hopefully the door should close behind him. Just like that. So then once you've done that, your friend can then, as you can see, here's a little vault. If you're wondering what let's talk about, this is the little vault he's on about. So just simply go in here and go and grab all the money. You can get upwards of 99k from this crate. So it's nice, but... You don't always get it. Anyways, go down here crouching and aim your weapon so you're slower. Then shoot this guy. Sometimes you get a headshot on him. Sometimes you don't. It just completely depends on what you angle. Get your stun gun out and then shoot the camera on the wall. And then you should hopefully manage to get through without getting caught here. Uh, normally, if there is a body going to be found by a camera, it is it has already done from the top floor so this is why we don't take the elevator because if we do these two immediately see us so now we can take them out with ease just with two people obviously and then once you have moved on from taking these two out you have to turn around get your stun gun out and then take out the camera it doesn't matter who it is just one of you take it out and then get back here now just listen to the gunshots because my thing is bugging out. So here you just gotta take out this camera with your stun gun. When it's obviously not facing you. Then one of you is gonna turn, aim for the guy at the reception, and then the other one's gonna aim at the far guy. Just take them both at the same time. Then get your stun gun out and then shoot the camera so it can't spot the dead body. And then one of you, I don't know what happened here, but my weapon wheel just completely broke. So just give it a just give it a moment. One of you then go over here and take this guy out. The guy through the glass cannot see. You do not take him out. You do not touch him. You just leave him to his own devices and you will be absolutely fine. Just go through the door and you'll be fine. Don't go through that other door because you can open it if you have all the key cards. By the way, if you are wondering, we did do all the options, okay? All the optional ones we did other than the UAV and then the night vision. That's the only two we didn't do, but everything else we did. So here's pretty self-explanatory, put them in the door at the same time. Then here you just laser the door. Like there's no really big tips here. Now for this one, for two people, it's completely impossible to get all the money. So what I would suggest you do is someone grab the money from the middle of the room while the other one hacks the other doors. It's a fingerprint hack, it should be quite simple. Uh, if you want to, uh, your friend can practice and then you can try and get as much money as possible. I think we got like one and a half million, but it ended up losing like 200k to police. One thing I must say though is deposit boxes are not worth it. They give you like 5, 6k I believe. I don't know, you can try and guess what it is there. As I just put up a bag. But once your time limit is up, because you don't actually get really long in here, go back to the door, time your, time your swipe and run through and then just kill as many people as possible. I'm gonna show this entire run through, going straight through the casino, mainly because it was quite quick. So basically all me and uh, everyone else that was in the game did 
was we just didn't take cover because we had done the set mission where none of these guys were armoured um, and they had crap guns so it was literally just one shot to the head everywhere so it was quite simple so we just run upstairs take out everyone that's in our path just mowing everyone down at this point use your assault rifle if you're like us and you're using pistols throughout this entire thing use your assault rifle as it is just much 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 easier and you've already got five stars in here so why wouldn't you use just a more powerful weapon now just remember that glass is bulletproof there so you have to go to this door to kill this guy in here then to kill that guy there and then what i did is i ran straight through this door took that guy out ran straight through the metal detectors and then just killed the final guy and then that was it i got to the end and we only lost about about 20 grand in that room which was very good but you'll now see why we lost so much more so i decided to show this entire section because to me i don't really think there's any like root tips because we didn't do it for that long we just we're in a panic and we just try to do it as quickly as possible so one thing i did figure out though is that if you're spamming a and x so jump and sprint button uh, if you're spamming both of them you'll obviously sprint and jump and it's way faster because for some reason in this you can't run it doesn't allow you to so just bear that in mind if you are struggling with that you can't run don't worry about it now if you are struggling at this poor part poor <laughs> Don't worry because uh, my teammate did die, I believe, when I got to the end of this bridge. So, yeah, just make sure you have your inventory out. Probably not snacks. Uh, try and get body armor. Like, I have super heavy armor. So, you'll see me put that on in a second now. And these bikes here, you can get on them. I don't know if they're perfectly placed there for it or what, but I did take a little bit of a too long route. And then I had to turn around and go back to the cars. And there you go. So I got in the car and picked my friend up. So then once you lose the police, we lost them quite quickly because we pulled away quite quickly, surprisingly. Uh, don't worry about meeting police like halfway again because you won't get caught. Just drive all the way to the point. Don't stop anywhere. Just keep going. There's no point stopping. And there you go. You have finally managed to complete the casino with two people. Granted, you didn't get all the money. But you got quite a large portion of it, seeing that's just for two people who didn't know what they were doing. But if you did enjoy this, just leave a like, subscribe, all of that shit. We recently hit 200, like I said previously, so thank you all for that. And, <laughs> like, oh my god, it's so, it's so cool just to get so, gr just to grow so much in just a month. Well, not, not even a month, fucking half a month. Jesus, but for any of you who have stuck this far, who have, any of you have subscribed to this channel, it, 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 it is really appreciated. We also recently hit 1k hours on this channel, so big up for that. We, I believe we're on like, last time we checked, we were on like 1,063 hours, so... That's always fun. But anyways, there are way more videos to watch on the channel, so go ahead and watch them. And I'll hopefully see you guys over there.